there tends to be quite a lot of confusion regarding the difference between a transition state and an intermediate inorganic chemistry. And in this video, I'm going to make that difference very clear for you. This graph shows the difference between the transition states and the intermediates. As you can see, the transition states are going to be the energy peaks in the graph, and the intermediates are going to be the troughs in between the transition states. Now let us take a deeper look into what a transition state is. Like we said before, the transition state is going to be the energy peak in the reaction. And this means that at that point, the molecule undergoing the reaction is going to be extremely unstable. Another characteristic of transition states is that they're extremely rapid, which means they are too fast to be seen. Finally, the transition state is going to be when the molecule is in the process of detaching from one atom and creating a bond to another atom. In other words, this is when a bond is forming and a bond is breaking. And this is often represented by a dashed little line, which simply means that there is something partially forming and partially breaking. Now let's take a closer look at the intermediate. Like we said earlier, the intermediates are going to be the troughs on the reaction graph. And those troughs are sometimes called local minima or just the lower points in the energy diagram. Another note for intermediates is that they can be observed. That is, they exist for long enough to be seen. Indeed, an example of an intermediate includes the carbocation intermediate, often seen in SN1 and E1 reactions. That carbocation intermediate will exist for a little while before it continues on in the reaction. Now, in conclusion, we can think about transition states and intermediates as points in between the starting and end points of a reaction. They're just some states that the molecule goes through as it's going towards the product. That is the end of this video. There is a link down below to access science and math tutoring, my publications, and my website. If you found this video helpful, here are some other recommended videos. This one is about the Heyman postulate, and this one is about comparing the SN1, SN2, and E1 and E2 reactions.